I'm David Sewinezuck. We're here at the edge of the world, the Roman world. At least Falkirk Wheel is just a short ways off, but in AD 160, this marked the boundary of civilization. Everything on that side was Rome, was civility. Everything on this side was, well, something a little darker. I'm up on the Antonine Wall at Rough Castle, where some of the best remnants of the fort still stand. And we know that when George R. R. Martin was researching A Song of Ice and Fire, which A Game of Thrones is a part of, he came to Hadrian's Wall in Northern Britain. He looked out across the vast landscape and he imagined what it would be like to be a Roman legionary from Italy, Spain, even Africa, peering out in the wild north and wondering what was coming out of it at you. Well, that's 80 miles to the south. If that's how he felt at Hadrian's Wall. Imagine how a legionary would feel here at the Antonine Wall in Scotland. This may not look like much, but it's a Roman minefield and it's meant to defend against the ferocity coming at them from the north. I think you can relate standing here to how Jon Snow would have felt peering off the edge of the wall. He's got his defenses ready, but he doesn't know exactly what's going to be coming through them. These are the Roman lilia, pits dug in the ground with wooden spikes sticking out of them. And they are a bit like a minefield. They're there to force your enemy to go around them and get into a killing zone where you can hopefully dust them off. So who were these here to defend against? The Caledonians, a fierce people from the north of Scotland who Tacitus, a Roman chronicler, described as having big limbs and fiery orange hair. Reminds me of a few wildlings that we know. Eager it comes to mind, Tormund Giant's Bane, I think, would find that to be a compliment. I'm now standing in the nerve center of the old Roman fort. Now, it doesn't look like much, but this is really important. There's officers' quarters nearby and a granary as well. And it's that level of organization that let the Romans push as far as they did. It's not just an army coming north, it's a whole society. A perfect example of this is the epic battle of Castle Black, which takes place in season four of Game of Thrones. There we see a horde of wild wildling soldiers, perhaps a hundred thousand strong, assaulting the great ice wall with chariots, even the odd giant. But it's to no avail. They break upon the better organization of the Night's Watch. And Tacitus tells us this is exactly what happened at the Battle of Mons Grappius in 83 or 84 AD, where the Caledonians charged, their war chariots weren't able to make an impact, they broke on the legionary lines, and then the Romans chased them off the field with their cavalry, much like Stannis Baratheon's cavalry finish the job at the Battle of Castle Black. So there's a perfect example of how the Caledonians fought in battle being very similar to how the wildlings north of the wall in Game of Thrones took to the field as well.